For England, James? No. For me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors with the most on screen movie deaths. I would have followed you, my brother. My captain. My king. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest actors that have racked up the most deaths in films. In everything from action to comedy roles, these performers are known for kicking the bucket more than almost anybody else. There's also a major spoiler warning for the movies mentioned, for obvious reasons. Did we forget one of your favorite performers? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Bela Lugosi, 36 Deaths Bela Lugosi will be forever remembered as one of the first actors to portray Count Dracula. Your will is strong, Van Helsing. The original 1931 film was far from the only one that featured Lugosi's presence, but his appearances in universal horror films made him synonymous with the genre. He's mine! He don't belong to you! You go away! Not me! Other than being the iconic vampire, he also starred and died in White Zombie and The Black Cat. He even had a memorable role and tragic end in Son of Frankenstein. Near the end of his life, he starred in B-movies such as Ed Wood's infamous Plan 9 from Outer Space. Confused by his great loss, the old man left that home never to return again. The Hungarian performer left a mark on cinema that's still widely celebrated for his historic contribution to early Hollywood monster filmmaking. Number 9. Tom Sizemore, 41 Deaths Tom Sizemore delivers compelling performances in his many diverse and tragic roles, especially during his 90s run. Sizemore's most notable death comes in the finale of the war film Saving Private Ryan. He dashes across the bridge in the last scene, only to get shot by German troops. He also memorably dies at the hands of Al Pacino's crack shot cop in the classic crime story Heat. While the actor has worked less in recent decades and dealt with personal troubles, his talents and contributions to movie making are indisputable. The performer has died somewhere in the neighborhood of 41 times on screen. You may have to get yourself a new line of work. This one doesn't seem to agree with you anymore. Number 8. Eric Roberts, 42 Deaths While younger generations might not remember his 80s output, Eric Roberts still manages to pop up in several supporting parts. When I look at you, I see something I like very much. He's made his mark as villains that get their comeuppance in The Dark Knight and the action extravaganza The Expendables. What about me and you? We're both the same. We're both mercenaries. We're both dead inside. Building off his good looks, his characters can charm people even when they're bad to the core. His work ethic gives him the reputation of a hard-working journeyman that's always game for anything. He isn't above poking fun at his image either, even in the face of death, with his cameo in The Cable Guy. Cry baby. Oh, I love you. Oh, it's been ah, such a Sammy, crying, Sammy, baby. Sammy, don't. Look who's Sammy. crying now. Roberts keeps dying in a variety of movies, from big budget spectacles to award nominated fare. Number 7. Dennis Hopper, 42 Deaths. After emerging from a new generation of actors in the 1950s, Hopper helped change the landscape of Hollywood with Easy Rider. Why don't you get a hack up? His death in that film stirred up a generation of anti-establishment fans, but some of his other deaths were as more unsavory people. Here I come. Ready or not. 
His terrifying performance as Frank Booth and Blue Velvet scared viewers and helped him carve out great villain roles over the next few decades. One of those parts was his antagonist in Speed, who met a dramatic end on the top of a subway car. The performer always infused his characters with a hypnotic energy that sometimes got the best of them. Be prepared. It's the Boy Scout marching song. Number 6. Boris Karloff, 43 Deaths Boris Karloff was the face of horror in the 30s and 40s. I beg you, do not think too badly of me. I tried my best to help you. His image in the Frankenstein series is as famous as anything in the history of film, but even legends like him die in his roles. He's best known for his performance as the reanimated monster in the original series produced by Universal. Those projects weren't his only foray into fantasy, as he's also made historic turns in other successful pictures such as The Mummy. I did not notice the time. While his career staggered through the 50s and 60s, his legacy never dwindled in the eyes of historians and movie fans alike. Number 5. John Hurt, 43 Deaths John Hurt was one of the most acclaimed British actors of his generation. I'm ready. It'll be quick. Whether he was in a sci-fi masterpiece or an independent drama, this performer famously died throughout his amazing career on the silver screen. He's also an integral part of one of the most historic death scenes ever. In the film Alien, his character has a xenomorph burst through his chest. Hurt's unfortunate deaths didn't stop there, even with his status as a beloved artist. Turning to more evil roles, he has played some diabolical villains in projects like V for Vendetta. I have something for you, Chancellor. A farewell gift. For all the things you've done, for the things you might have done, and for the only thing you have left. Up until his death in 2017, the performer kept audiences engaged with his explorations of humanity and frequent movie exits. Number 4. Vincent Price, 45 Deaths Vincent Price's extensive career in horror and B-movies offered him many opportunities to die. Here's a serum that will heal you whether you're rabid or not. After multiple supporting parts in the 1940s, Price took on more substantial roles in the 1950s, with films ranging from House of Wax to House on Haunted Hill. Everything I ever loved has been taken away from me. Not you, my Marie Antoinette, for I will give you eternal life. Often playing sinister characters, he sometimes dies at the hands of heroes or other villainous beings. He also starred in several Edgar Allan Poe adaptations, playing nefarious evildoers that met their end in adaptations like The Pit and The Pendulum. He managed to fill his career with many exciting appearances, with Tim Burton's movie Edward Scissorhands being one of his final jobs and screen deaths. Number 3. Lance Henriksen, 56 Deaths Lance Henriksen graces the silver screen in copious amounts of sci-fi and action classics. Not bad for a human. As the android bishop in the Alien series, he was damaged and resurrected in multiple entries. The second film in the series features one of the more gruesome dismemberments ever, with his character getting ripped apart by the Queen Alien. The coffee's two hours cold. Mm -hmm. I put a cigarette on it. As a cop in The Terminator, or a gunslinger in westerns like The Quick and the Dead, the actor died on screen whether you knew his name or not. This isn't even counting his TV or video game roles, which would make his death list much longer. You wanna play poker with me, little lady? Number 2. Christopher Lee, 69 Deaths Christopher Lee was one of the most prolific actors of any generation. Like every great artist, I want to create an indisputable masterpiece. Not only did he create another influential Dracula role, but the actor also explored multiple genres and died in all of them.
his enjoyable turns in the James Bond adventure, The Man with the Golden Gun, and other franchises like Star Wars, offered him several worthy chances to expire on screen. I shouldn't. Do it. His experiences in World War II apparently gave his roles an added weight and a greater perspective on life. From the Hammer Horror films to the Lord of the Rings series, he never failed to provide gravitas to his many deaths. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Nicolas Cage, 32 deaths. The dynamic artist never fails to entertain on film, whether he's dying or not. Kilmer, full of grace. Our, our Lord is with me. Samuel L. Jackson, 33 deaths. Jackson's successful filmography contains a plethora of high profile and shocking deaths. So we're not going to fight anymore. We're going to pull together and we're going to find a way to get out of here. First, we're going to seal off this <laughs> Bruce Willis, 33 deaths. Contrary to his status as an action star, Willis still dies in a number of his leading roles. We win, Tracy! Press it! <laughs> Mickey Rourke. 34 deaths. The 80s heartthrob has died in everything from Rumblefish to Iron Man 2. Bruce Dern, 35 deaths. His diverse career features deaths across multiple decades. Ooh, the dumbest thing your boy ever did was to let me know he was your boy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Danny Trejo. 72 deaths. If you're a fan of action flicks from the 90s, there's a chance you've probably seen Danny Trejo die. Hey, don't I know you from someplace? His long and storied career began with parts in the 1980s. Some of his most noteworthy deaths are in Desperado and From Dust Till Dawn, marking just two of his many collaborations with Robert Rodriguez. And now, for your viewing pleasure. His badass attitude makes him the perfect choice to be an unlikely ally or a formidable villain. Starting with his first film roles in a series like Death Wish 4, the actor always brings the heat, even if he does end up dying a lot. In what might be a shocking revelation to some, this actor has one of the higher death counts of anybody in American movies. You can't come in here. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.